I am so pleased to say these two ladies are in the Senate. Holly Hughes is there with the Liberal Party out in New South Wales and fresh for another six years, none other than Pauline Hanson, our dear friend and leader of One Nation. Holly, lovely to see you. Pauline, forgive me for a moment or two, Holly. I'm going to give Pauline a bit of love here. Congratulations, Pauline. Can you believe oh, okay. that when you were, uh, you know, tr uh, trying to get into that parliament in 2016, that not only would you get there, but you'd be re-elected. You are staring down the barrel of 12 years as the senator from Queensland, mate. Congratulations. Thanks very much, Paul. And I'd just like to say to all the people in Queensland who voted for me, thank you very, very much. And even those people who gave me the preferences because that's what's got me over the line. So I'm very humbled by it, very grateful, and uh, I'll just try and do my job the best that I can for the people of Queensland. So how does it feel? Did it feel, uh, did, did it feel in these couple of weeks that you had a chance to have a rest, to refocus, to fire up again? Uh, tell us about what your, what your hope is for the next six years. Well, I have... Paul, I gave the people of Australia a promise that I would um, carry through on having a, an inquiry into the way the COVID's been handled, and I will put that um, before the floor of Parliament. I think we need a joint select committee hearing on the way the COVID's been handled, the impact it's had on our country, and it's been the way it's been, um, you know, dealt with by the health professionals and the impact it's had on the people and their jobs. So I'd like to do that. I gave um, Anthony Albanese a call last night, a personal call, and I congratulated him on his win. And um, I've raised a couple of things with him and something I've been fighting with the Libs for the last five years is about this gas off the northwest shelf. We export about $54 billion. We only get $300 million um, in taxes from it. Qatar, they export less than us and get bring in $26 billion a year in taxes. Wow. We have to do something about that and we need a domestic gas supply given from Commonwealth Waters. So these are things that I spoke to him about. Family law, I want to follow up. And also I will put my dairy bill back on the floor of Parliament that it went down by one vote because the Liberals and the Nationals didn't support it. I want a fair farm gate price for our dairy farmers.